All right, so let's take you through some things in the sculpt environment. Um, remember, when you open a new file, first of all, save it. Then we're going to go into the create and click on the purple box. So now we're in the sculpt environment. Just like when you're in the sketch environment, you have a finish form or end this process button that you'll need to do at the end of this. So we're going to just, I'm going to work with a basic box here for a second. I'm going to click on the plane I want to create it on. You would, what did I do? Oh, I clicked the middle. Lovely. Um, let's do that again. I'm just going to stick it in the middle of my box. There we go. Here, so this plane, but this point, that way it's centered. And you can kind of pick the size you want. Uh, let's go with 75 and 120. How's that look? Not too bad. There's my box. Okay, now I need more controls than just these four panels. So, because I want to pull up from this point or part of this, but not all of it, right? I'm going to modify. You don't have to modify first, but you can. I'm going to subdivide this panel. Now I have more control. I would like to uh, so say OK. I'm going to modify, subdivide this panel, and we're good. Modify, subdivide this panel. Now, something else that you can do, actually, let me finish. Finish this panel. Oops, cancel, what did I hit? Modify, subdivide, that panel. Okay, great. Now let's say I wanted to subdivide these, but I only wanted a horizontal line. Uh, we can modify insert an edge. Click the edge that you want to create an edge parallel to. Click there, you get another one. And you can decide where you want to put that by sliding up and down on a little blue button. So halfway works for me, kind of just over the edge. Awesome. Uh, Let's do that. And then I can do another one over here. Insert edge, la da, da parallel to that one. I have no actual plan there. I'm just showing you some of the options. Oh, and you can see I really made a mess of that one, right? I didn't even put that at the, oh, what a mess. Okay, let's try that again. Insert edge to here. Thank you, okay. <coughs> Excuse me, sneezes included. There we go, that's a little better. Still at a weird angle, but all right, we'll deal with that. Huh, I guess we will deal with that. We'll leave it as it is. Um, so now we can go in and modify this and do something interesting with it. Uh, edit the form. You can grab one of these things and pull, right? All kinds of fun, or push, or whatever. What you want to be careful of is if you push it back in on itself or it overlaps, like right now it's going right down by that back edge. If we go look at this from the top, you can see how that's like, there's nothing there. There's no thickness. That's going to be a problem later. Um, so try to be a little bit gentle with your modeling. Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. Where's my... All right, undo, there we go. And we go back to the top, there we go. So, modify, edit form, pull. I'm gonna pull a couple of these things because I wanna go a little bit gently. We're gonna pull up these guys and kind of do this, right? And see what happens. Um, so maybe I want that to be sort of the resonance chamber. And then let's say I wanna do these guys should hold the shift key down and do more than one and I want to modify edit form I can push down on an edge as well it doesn't have to be just section so if I want a greater angle so maybe like that something so I want it to go down uh, great and then let's say I want to pull this whole thing do 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 these guys I'm gonna go modify edit form I'm gonna pull that up because I want that to be open later. Okay, that seems reasonable, right? We see where I'm headed with this thing? I've got, like, it's gonna come out that side, I'm gonna stick the phone in the top, I gotta put a hole in it. Wow, the middle got really wonky. Huh, gonna have to fix that. Um, but somewhere in that ballpark, okay? And then I'm gonna go back to this one and this one. I don't think I have to move the other one. Let's see, edit form. How did I, yeah, there we go, line that back up. Not that you have to keep it lined up, but you could. 
And let's say I want it to be a little, like, I don't want it quite so square. So maybe, and I think, um, maybe this one? Let's see. Well, that kind of pulls it in nicely. And again, double check from a couple different angles, see what's going on here. How's that look? Not too bad. Ooh, I could probably pull in that whole side, actually, right? So if I undo that, hold the shift key down and get that line and this line, and then move to where I can see the arrow that going, it's going in the direction I want to go. Ah, not there. Hello. Thanks. Maybe. What did I do? Oh, I grabbed a whole bunch more. Fascinating. Didn't mean to do that. One more time. There we go. Maybe. And this guy. Shift, 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 shift. Okay, try that. Ah, there we go. That's better. Have that go in just a little bit. Okie dokie, that's better. Now let's flip this over and do the other side. There, there is a mirror component, a symmetry component that you can use. I have not done it enough to make it work. I'm trying to make this a really quick, oops, quick how to. This, well, this one, this one, this one, and that one. And we're going to go in some. And we're going to click and look at the top. Uh, that's not so bad. Then we're going to click on this one and this one and make that go back kind of in the middle. All right, we're somewhere in the ballpark. All right, so there's my fun shape that I want to play with, All right? Cool. So we've got the bulk of the shape done. Fabulous. Now that it's done, we can go into our other uh, modes and start to do things to this, like put holes in it, right? Um, we can, uh, what do I do? Ideally, I would loft a form at this point. I'm just going to put a couple holes in it because I'm in a hurry. Um, so I want this guy to be on a plane or planar face. All right, so this plane. But I want it to be up here somewhere, right? So we're going to go, that's where I want my phone to be. That should be a centimeter at one point. I think, I think 15 will probably do it. And if this guy is, oh, I forgot to hit tab, 15, and that's not going to be big enough for my phone, right? Because that would need to be 70. So, yeah. So you'd have to, again, make sure your, your sizes are going to work. So anyway, there's my thing. Um, wherever I put this, I put it way down here, right? Not exactly where I had in mind. Doesn't actually matter. I'm going to pull this all the way up. I need to move this before I actually cut it. So I don't want to cut it right now. I'm going to make a new body so I can move this around. Okie dokie, because I could have put that anywhere, anywhere, and then moved it into place, right? So now I'm going to hit my M key to move this, and I'm going to move this guy, and I'm going to move it over and try and keep it centered this way, right? And now I don't want to cut all the way through the bottom. That would be bad. Uh, so I want to move this guy up. So maybe there-ish is not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. And then we're going to look at the side and see where I am in from the end. That looks pretty stable. Like, you could put a, put a phone in there, right? That would work. Um, again, if it were scaled to the right size. Uh, so, then I can say, okay, so it, it's in place. Now, I want to modify, combine, and I want to cut. That's where this happens, right? Then I want to go to target body. What am I cutting? Tool body. What am I using to cut with? That. Okie dokie. If you need to cut more than once the same size hole, you can keep your tool and then just move it out of the way, or you can just hit cut. So you guys know what this looks like when it's pink and you say, okay, it puts the hole in. Let me show you what happens when you keep the tool, right? We do this, we say, okay, and you still have this here and you're like, where's my hole? So we're going to move this guy out of the way and you'll be like, oh, there's my hole. Okay, no problem. All right? And you can see it literally just put a hole in there. It didn't actually make the whole thing hollow and it's the form is not hollow when you make it. The form is solid. So we're going to have to go through and uh, hollow that out a little bit. One of the most effective ways I've seen that done uh, was in class, and they took... All right, let me do OK here. Let me get that out of the way. And then if you're like, why do I need that body kicking around? I don't. So I'm just going to blink it in case I need it later. 
So one more thing here while we're in the midst of doing stuff. If we take this form, right, and we're going to M key, move copy, except I want to copy, right? So I'm going to select a body. I'm going to go down here to create copy, and I'm going to move this, apparently at some weird angle, out of the way, so they're not on top of each other. How far did I move that? Let's see if I, I think I moved it totally out of the way. Uh, oh, not quite. Let's move it a little bit further, shall we? Escape key, down. Okay, fine. Um, it would be great <laughs> if I had moved that in a, in a, well, we'll see how this goes, um, so that I can put it back later. But we're going to go, okay, so now I have two. So then I want to modify scale, ta-da, this guy. I want to shrink it. And I want to shrink it by, I don't know what, um, if it's, what did I do, 150 long, and I want at least 3 millimeters thick on either end, and all the way around, that's going to be 6 millimeters, and that's 20%, so maybe 80%-ish? Oh, not 80, 0.8, thank you. 0.8, that's better. Um, and maybe I want to, I want slightly thicker walls or something to point, oops, 0.75 just to see so I can get it in there and then I can play with that because you can always tweak that later. So there we go. So now we have a smaller version, right? Now, if I move the smaller version back to where I got it from, which would be all too easy if I had done it in a direct line, which, uh, not entirely. Now, here's the thing. Uh, you shrink it, it doesn't, because of the pieces and parts, right? I'd have to pull this out to get that to fit in some places. I'd have to go back and re-sculpt a little bit. So perhaps that's not going to fit quite as well as I had imagined. But we're going to put that over here because that'll fit, and that's the important part. And then we can cut this out with anything like a box. That's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, probably would have been better if I'd done that before I put the hole in it, but eh whatever things happen all right so there we go oh whoops I only moved it in one direction ha <laughs> I should probably move it in the other direction too move this guy oh that's what happened move I want to move it like level maybe this way yeah that's better so when you're pick oh well more or less when you're picking the face that you're trying to create the move tool on it's not like I can't move this around but then the whole thing rotates not really what I had in mind either but that's pretty close let's go here and move it this way just a squidge and call that good okay so now you're like ooh where to go well it's right in here no problem so now we're going to modify um. Fine. Oh, I should shove it out the end is what I should do. Let's go back and modify move again. Move. Boop. Move. Body three. I do want that to come out the end, so let's do that. Oh, it's going to cause problems on the bumpy bit. All right, we're going to have to do that a different way. It's all right. Um, okay, so modify, combine, tool, the target body. Yay, tool body. Just go over here. You can't click inside easily, so just go grab it over here. Now we can see where the holes are going to happen. All right, so now we can cut. And we have a hole in there, but we can't see it. So one last thing. Well, next to last thing. We're going to go over here, grab a sketch. Uh, and I guess we'll do a rectangle is probably my do a three point center. Let's do a center rectangle, see if it'll give me the center point. We want to be on this plane, but we want to be on this plane. So you can tell me where the center point is. No, that would be too easy. All right, let's try that and go. And you can see here where the reason that was easy is because the green line goes through the middle because when I made my sculpt form to begin with, I put it on the center point. So bear that in mind as you were working, work with those center points. We're going to go there and then we're going to hit Q for push pull. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to move that because it's in the middle of the form, which is not quite what I had in mind. Um, but we can move that face 
move this guy sketch, move the sketch, move, I don't really want to move that sketch, I really do. Oop, I want to move the whole sketch. Okay, laundry is done, yay. Move the whole sketch out to the front. Okay, now let's go this way and check out where we put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hit the escape key for a second. Why won't you move? Oh, stop sketch. Go. Move this, fine. Orbit. Somewhere in the ballpark. A little on the big side, right? A little on the big side. So we can go back down here, control, click. Seriously, you should be able to scale that. Okay, if not, let's say it was the right size. We would pick that and then we would push pull to have it go in. So we wanna go on one side and we wanna go a minus, I think I wanna go a minus. Uh, let's go 15, 14, 15, let's see where that takes us. Take a look from the side. And does that go in far enough? No. Minus 14. Okay, escape key. Got this guy. We're just going to go. Oh, I guess we wanted a positive number for that. We're going to go back into here. Oh, and I'm totally on the wrong end. No wonder. Ah. And move. Sketch object. This worked best when I could grab the whole thing. Yeah. All right. This end. That'll work better. Probably. Where did it end up? Grab that arrow. Ooh, I've messed it up royally. Good choice. Let's bring that back down here to wherever we need to be. Okay, but we are getting the idea, right? So, try oh my heavens, I bought that on the wrong plane. So, if you put it on the end and you push pull and you cut the end, then you've got some holes and everybody's happy. So we have all sorts of options for that. Um, but the big thing is once you make your sculpt tool, how did I not get it at the other end? Um, once you make your sculpt tool uh, or sculpt body, you want to come out and use other bodies and or sketches to put the holes in it and make it the thickness that you want. So those are the uh, key ideas, I think, um, that you want to know for working with the sculpt environment. Have fun.